Are you tired of this happening while taming a giant bee queen? My name is Bee Corsa, and giant bee queens are unbelievable, and I've got to tell you how to tame one. And if you sticky around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things you won't believe. First off, I've got to tell you which food you'll need. Simple kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, rare flowers, cooked lamb chop, cooked prime meat. I would only recommend rare flowers. The reason why I'm recommending rare flowers here is because the giant bee queen does not seem to spawn above level 5. During the recording of this video, I broke 10 hives and all spawned a level 4 or 5 giant bee queen. If this is consistent, you'll only need 5 rare flowers in just under 5 minutes of your time. If not, then a level 150 giant bee queen would require a dozen rare flowers in about 10 minutes. Or if it's after the permanent taming rate increase, a level 5 would require 3 flowers in 2 minutes, and a level 150 about 6 flowers in 5 minutes. The recipe for simple kibble is 1 small egg, 5 mijo berries, 2 rockerot, 1 cooked fish meat, 5 fiber, and 1 water. This tame really stings if you're not using bug repellent, which is made in a mortar and pestle with pelts, narcotics, citronelle, and rockerot. A ghillie suit could also be helpful. There are two types of hives that can spawn, empty hives, which only have honey, and occupied hives, which spawn drones when damaged. The second type of hive is the one that has the queen. To get the queen to make a royal appearance, you must destroy the hive. I've collected a few sweet tips so you're not bumbling around during the tame. If you B-rake the hive from afar, the drones will not be able to find you. However, the queen will not fall to the ground and you'll have to make other arrangements to deliver the flowers to her. Once the queen has a hived, be careful not to bumble into her as it will anger the nearby drones, even if you have both bug repellent and a ghillie suit on. Dire bears are immune to the stings of the drones and will protect you from them as well. Other mounts will drop you when you're stung. you also want some sort of flyer like a Pteranodon, Argentavis, Dimorphodon, or anything else that can fly and deal damage. Now that Hive told you those tips, let's continue. Ride your Dire Bear into the Redwood Forest. There are lots of dangers here, so beware and try not to wing it if you're not prepared. Once you've spotted a Hive, Whistle attack this target on it. If there isn't a swarm of drones, you can buzz off to the next hive. If you find a hive full of busy bees, let your flying creature destroy the hive. Once the queen has pollen from her throne, you can start the tame. Now you'll want to apply the bug repellent and make sure that you've put on your ghillie suit. Put your food of choice in the last slot of your hot bar and kneel before the queen and interact with her to give her your tribute. If you lay prone, there's a chance the drones won't be able to sting you. Continue to feed your drama queen until she's tamed. If this video was helpful, be sure to like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the unbelievable facts that I promised earlier. There isn't much to do with a giant bee queen, and that's perfectly okay as they have at least one royal duty. 
interact with the queen bee to bring up the radial menu. There's an option for obtain hive. Once you select that, a beehive structure will appear in your inventory and the bee queen will buzz off. The beehive can be placed anywhere on the ground. Once placed, the beehive uses rare flowers like a fuel at a rate of one every four hours to produce giant bee honey at a rate of one every 45 minutes. The beehive will sting any player who comes nearby. You can avoid this by either wearing a ghillie suit or using bug repellent. If the beehive runs out of rare flowers for too long, it will be destroyed and a giant bee queen will spawn. From what I've seen, it takes 500 damage after 4 hours of not having a rare flower. Unfortunately, I did not have enough time to let it run until the hive was destroyed, as I would have to leave the game running for 40 hours at the rate I observed. You can also trigger this manually by demolishing the hive. Currently on the official Aberration servers, there's a bug in which the giant bee queen will not spawn after a player placed hive is destroyed. This is because the queen that spawns when the hive is destroyed is considered a foreign creature, which is disabled by default. This bug can also be shown if you cryopod a giant bee queen. It's not able to be released from the cryopod because of the same issue. If anyone can confirm this is still the case, please let me know in the comments below. There's also a giant worker bee on the Crystal Isles map in a bee themed area which cannot be tamed. If you're on mobile, there are currently no giant bee queens. The beehive is instead a learnable ingram which is used similarly to a tree tap sap on a redwood tree. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching and have yourselves a beautiful day. Oh god, <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, but it had to be done. <laughs>